I found myself getting very angry. I found myself enraged. I was becoming enraged. And even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran, said no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Back so soon. I told you this month. Listen, y'all may hear from me every day. We may, we may be doing a check-in like this every day. It's Dion Dean. Welcome back. I apologize. Um, apologize for wiping my eye in front of all y'all. But we are back. Yesterday, I had the temper tantrum of all temper tantrums. And I want to share with you why. When get, we're going to get right into it. Oh, my gosh, guys. When you take time out to process you better make sure that you're ready for what you unearth. So um, to start things off, what am I going to do? I am going to spray my face, refresh my face. And you may be noticing I'm having a few breakouts because I am going through this process. And when, when I'm going through things like this, my skin flares up. I've always had eczema and dermatitis and things like that. And whenever I am... Whatever emotions I have, they always end up coming up in my skin. And so my skin is just going crazy. And so I have to take extra care of it. Anyway, that's not why you came. What did I spray? I sprayed Milk Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. And I will leave a link to that. Anyway, let's get into what happened. Yesterday, I had a temper tantrum. And my emotions were all over the place. And I'm not, a, I'm not a therapist, not a psychologist, therapist, anything like that. But I am sharing this with you with hopes that um, it normalizes mental distress, anxiety, depression. And I pray that through my healing and through me working through this process, it is blessing you. Anyway, let's get into my temper tantrum. So you guys know, if you don't know, if you're new to this channel, welcome <laughs> to my crazy thing that's going on. Um, I was born in London. My parents are Jamaican, but I was born in London. I moved here um, to South Florida when I was nine, ten years old. Um, I have been going back and forth to England all my life. Um, it just is something that is part of my life. I am British. My sister's there. My uh, cousins are there. The ones that I'm closest to are there. My uncles, aunts. Um, I just have a lot of family in England because guess what? England used to own Jamaica, right? And so when people ask, you know, how did you get to England? Well, there's this thing called colonization. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh about it, but there's this thing called colonization. Um, anyway, that being said, I go to England every year. I was there last summer. It was the first time I was there post pandemic post daddy passing so i go in last night uh, what am i using i'm using the uh inky list super super solutions 10 percent urea moisturizer and um, it helps with all the stuff that's going on dry and rough skin solution so that's why i'm using this one because my skin is just not happy anyway let's get into it so last night i went in to check prices um because we're pricing out our trip for this year I'm like shaking as I'm telling you this. <laughs> this is very transparent. So, went online to check prices. Prices to Europe during the summer have gone up significantly. When I checked earlier, um, probably like a month ago, they were seven, eight hundred dollars. It's now March. They're like eleven fifty, twelve fifty. So twelve fifty times four, because there are four in our household, that's what almost five thousand dollars. So I saw that, and then I started looking at Airbnbs because part of the portion of my trip to England, if you follow me um, for the last year, then and if you were with me when I was traveling last summer, part of the portion I spend in London. Um, I'm from East London, Hackney. So we're in East London, South London for the first week. Then we go up to the Midlands, Birmingham, Stoke and Trent, um, Leicester. That's where a lot of my family is when we come back down. Anyway, was pricing Airbnb, so on and so on and so forth. So I felt myself, I actually felt myself getting angry as I was researching these prices. And the more I thought about, you know, $5,000 and Airbnb and calculate, because you know I'm a shop. Listen, your girl is going to shop. The more I... The more I researched and the more money that it became, I found myself getting very angry. I'm getting angry right now. I'm still processing, okay? 
I found myself getting very angry. I found myself enraged. I was becoming enraged. And my husband was like, yo, calm down. Because after I did the research, I was like slamming pots. I'm cooking. I'm slamming pots. I'm short with Joyce. I'm short with Riley. I'm short with everybody, right? My husband's like, yo, what's going on? And I'm in therapy enough to know, or I've had enough therapy enough to know when I'm triggered. And so, but I didn't know what I was triggered by. I just knew it was angry. Something set me off. Um, but in retrospect, it was the, watching the prices. So this is what has come out of this, okay? Stick with me. So as I was journaling and and writing, and that's the importance, I really, really, really want to emphasize, guys, if something's going on, you have to write. You have to write until you get a breakthrough. You have to cry. You have to write. You have to shout. You have to do whatever. If not, it will manifest in other ways, okay? So that's number one. You have to write. So I'm, I'm just sitting with my thoughts and like what is going on like why am i so angry like what is going on and this is what has unearthed for me right now as it stands i had to ask myself who who was angry like what's going on like who's who who is who's who's, who's having this reaction and it took me back to when i was younger and i don't know if i've told you my england story but i didn't want to come here my parents made the decision or i was in england with my daddy um, and then my mom got our papers and then we ended up coming over, okay? Um, but England was and is my safe space. Again, that's where my family is. My sister, who is, I, I always used to say my sister's my mom and my mom is my grandma. That's how close me and my sister are. Um, and it took me back. What I realized is that the, the person who was angry was that little girl who never wanted to leave England. It was that little girl who always wanted to go back and, you know, you can't go back, Dion. We live here now. You know, you can't go this summer. We haven't saved for it. Um, you can't go for this holiday. We have to wait a couple months. It was that little girl. Because when I was looking at flights, the fear that came up in me is that I wouldn't be able to go to England. The prices are too high, which is something my parents always used to say. The price is too high. Um, we can't afford it right now. And rightly so. You know, it is what it is. Not blaming them at all. But that's what came up for me was when I saw that the prices had went up, immediately I went back to that little girl who my parents always, my, my parents were always say, we can't afford it, you can't go, the tickets went up. It was such a trigger for me, it enraged me. And so what I had to do in writing is I actually had to stop, I haven't done a lick of makeup, <laughs> in the midst of all the emotions, I had to take a minute in my writing and I had to stop and I had to say, okay, Dion, Dion. I had to talk to little Dion. Sounds crazy, but I had to talk to her, right? Honey, <laughs> sweetie pie, honey bunch. Dion, you're not 10 years old. You're not 12 years old. You're not 15. You have power over this situation. You have power over the situation. You have choices. You have the ability to make money. When you're 10, 12, 13, whatever age, and you weren't able to create wealth in order to go to England, I get it, I understand it, but that's not you anymore. So if the flights have gone up, guess what? You can make a plan. You can, you know, do more in Poshmark. You can take a few extra clients on DN and Creative. You can do whatever you need to do to go. You can go to England. Doesn't matter what, if the price goes up, please don't Jesus, let me knock on someone. <laughs> but if the prices go up to blank, I'm not gonna speak it into existence. It doesn't matter what the price is because now you have the wisdom to get the wealth to go. <sighs> I immediately calmed down because I spoke to that fear because 10 year old, 12 year old, however year old, she is when she was speaking in that moment because that wasn't grown-up Dion grown-up Dion knows how to make money okay if she got to sell a bag and a shoe <laughs> if she got to be in the bins every day like Dion knows grown-up Dion knows how to make money but that little girl she flexed hard last night flexed hard and so what is the takeaway from this and I know it's a long I'm sorry it's like nine minutes in you need to ask yourself in moments when you are triggered, you need to, and, and you know when you're triggered, you know when you feel it. Like I felt it, my mood immediately 
I just got like, oh, damn. That's how I felt when I saw the tickets. I was just like, oh, like you feel it. I felt the, I felt angst the minute it came. I felt anger the minute it came. I was just so mad. Why are these tickets this way? And my husband was just like, whoa, what's wrong? I was like, the tickets went up again. Why is it doing this? Oh my gosh, you know, the you know the spirit of cuss is on me. I love the Lord, but the spirit of cuss is on me. And I was like, this happens every time. You make a plan and da 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 da, and then the tickets go up and blah 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 and blah 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 blah. And my husband's like, whoa, and I'm cooking. <laughs> cooking angry there was no love in that food yesterday um <laughs> let me get my concealer there was no love in that food yesterday god bless i'm glad we said our grace because that food was angrily cooked <laughs> so what is the takeaway when something happens and you feel triggered when an emotion comes up when the act doesn't warrant the emo oh gosh let me cover these edges honey when the act when whatever's happening doesn't warrant the reaction and you feel it. I'm talking about when you know, okay? Sometimes we do stuff and like, I didn't know. You know, that's a bit, when people ask, um, how do you stay married for almost 15 years? You have a partner that'll check you. <laughs> My husband checks me real quick, okay? Because sometimes I'm acting a certain way and I don't think I am. And he's like, no, you were being a, you were being a B. Not last night, but just other times, like you were being a B. So you need people in your life to be like, something's wrong, what's going on? Um, so number one, find out who is talking, who is responding. It's not you because you feel it. Something else is coming up. It's not you. In my 40 something years of life, I know what to do, but that little girl did not. And so she was saying, I'm angry. I'm not gonna go to England. I'm not gonna see my family. I'm da 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 And rightfully so, she was scared. So now it's our responsibility as the adult to now speak to her. This is years of therapy, guys. This is not enlightened. This is not something I learned like last week. But the tool is to get it out, to speak to her, to be her friend. You know, you hear um, people who have gone through a transformation say they have to literally become their best friend. That's what they're talking about. They literally have to, and I think in like, in um, therapist terms, they talk about your inner child and, um, uh, um, not going back to your inner child, but speaking to that, that your former self, it's real because sometimes you're reacting and it's not you reacting. It's, it's little you reacting. And so the only thing that you can do to correct that is to talk to little so-and-so. So we had a conversation, we had a chat and, um, she's okay now. She's still a little angry. I mean, these, these companies are trying to fleece me. There's no reason why that flight was <laughs> was 800 and that was 1250. Um, but the, the key is acknowledging who's speaking, right? That's number one. The second part, you cannot forget the second part, people, okay? Now that you've acknowledged it, you have to make a plan. Adult you has to make a plan for how you're going to fix whatever, whatever problem has arisen, right? So for me, it's finances. For me, it's I couldn't afford it then, so I have to figure out, not figure out, but I'm, I have to explain to younger self, for example, it's exactly how it went. Okay, so this is what we're going to do, because remember, we now have choices. And we now have the ability to create wealth, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. And I need your help with this because I don't need you sabotaging me, okay? That's what self-sabotage is, okay? When you know what you need to do, when when grown you knows what you need to do, but little you comes, comes busting in. Because let me tell you something, I will have all the money saved and see a sale at Neiman's. <laughs> I could lie to you, but I'm not going to. Um, so you have to tell your, you know, talk to little you say this, and this is the plan. We're going to do X, Y, and Z, and I need you not to sabotage. I need, I need you to, I need you to adhere to the plan at hand, okay? We are not going to sabotage this because this means a lot to both of us. Don't you want to go home and see family? Don't you want to go home and go to Harrods and have that experience and so on and so forth? So I need you, little Dion, to get in line. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, three, 
X, Y, and Z. And we're going to make this money, okay, to go to England. And you are going to behave yourself, okay? If you don't behave, guess what's happening? We're not going. And those voices, I promise you, will quiet. Because you, you've explained, you've done something that, I know for me, my parents didn't explain nothing. They couldn't afford it. <laughs> that was it. There was no explanation. We can't afford it. We're not going. I would be shattered and be like, I wanted an explanation. So what you're doing now is you're correcting that, right? You're giving an explanation. Say, say the time comes and we're not able to go. Then we have a, listen, I know that, I know that you really wanted to go, but now is not the best time. What would be best is X, Y, and Z. Have a conversation, quiet that inner child. Quiet that, that little person that's having a temper tantrum. You can do this and I'm doing it with England, but it could be, again, yesterday we talked about, you know, going out, doing different things. Perfect example. Um, and I don't know if I shared this with you guys, but we had a miscarriage. Some of you may, no, I didn't have YouTube at that time. We miscarried before Riley. <sighs> Losing daddy, hardest of my life miscarrying second hardest like they're right up there for me to get pregnant again for me to listen well oh, god bless my husband for me to even da, 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 was like don't touch me sir i need you just don't touch me i had to have a conversation with myself like okay dion and i actually had a really good OBGYN that talked to me as well um but innately i was like okay it happened but suppose this time you actually have the child. Suppose this time you get a healthy heartbeat. Suppose, just suppose you carry a baby to full term. Just suppose you have a beautiful baby boy or a girl. I had to have those conversations with me. Even throughout my, even throughout my pregnancy with Riley, God bless. <laughs> Having a child after a miscarriage is a whole other, that might be another conversation. But um, I had to have a call. Okay, Dion, I know, I know it was so hard. That miscarriage was so hard. It was so, so, so hard. But guess what? Just maybe this will be an easy, perfect pregnancy. How about, how about, how about we think on that? How about, I know it was hard. It was so, so hard. But guess what? Just, just maybe this is going to be a great pregnancy. And now we have this <laughs> little Miss Diva. So, I mean, oh my gosh, it's almost a 20 minute video. But I think for me, what I want you to get out of this is when something triggers you, when something, when you feel yourself about to spiral, when you feel your mind going X, Y, and Z, when you feel anger, depression, anxiety rising up, I want you to take a minute. <sighs> say, who is that? Who is that? Because I it doesn't feel like me. That feels like something else. So who is that? And I promise you, I say the Holy Spirit, whatever religion you 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 prescribe to has a promise of a connecting source. That source. If you get quiet enough, and that's why I'm a huge believer, always have been of meditation and, and setting yourself apart, um, whatever that voice is will speak to you. And when it does, you have to deal with it. If I would have just said, who was, you know, if I would have gotten still and just said, who was that? You know, what was that? Blah, blah, blah. And didn't deal with it. Then I probably would have just kept on brewing and I wouldn't have made a plan. But when I acknowledged it and I made a plan, now I have something to work off of so that when that voice arises, because it's absolutely going to arise again, when I go to book those tickets, <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? And that anger comes up again and be like, yes, but guess what? It doesn't matter how high the prices go, you're going to get to go. And if they get to a point where you're not comfortable of paying, you'll go another time because England isn't going anywhere. And now you have FaceTime, right? You have WhatsApp, you have FaceTime, you have all these other avenues to talk to your friends and family until you're able to go. That's 40 something year old Dion speaking, right? And so I hope this has been a blessing. I didn't mean for it to be a 20 minute video. <laughs>
I really didn't. Oh my goodness, this is not the lip I wanted to do. I wanted to do. I want to do a pink lip. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> We'll do a bitch please look. Yes, it's actually called bitch please. Um, no, bitch perfect. Do you see that? This is not the lip I wanted to do. Oh my God. I actually had my Sephora pink out. Uh, I'm just going thrifting anyway. All right, I'm going thrifting for this live show, Jesus, which is part of my, I'm just going to put my hoodie beauty. Uh, part of my process is, you know, that's why God knows, like, like now I'm able to do live shows. So that's going to be a part of the mix. God will give you the wisdom to get the wealth. So if it's financial, I promise you, if you just make a plan and stick to it, it'll all work out. And so, yes, that's my confession. And that's what I'm believing. And that's what I'm working on. So let me head out into these streets, fix my wig, get Riley together. What did I use? I used the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I will leave a link. I don't even think she make this anymore. But you guys know I love a Huda Beauty palette. So I will leave a link to this and all the products that I use. Thank you guys so much. Um, <laughs> whew, I'm committed to growing in this season. And I'm I'm sharing with you because um, I just don't want you to feel alone. And I want to normalize um, feeling crazy for a little bit so that you feel better afterwards, if that makes sense. Like nobody out here is just sound minded all the time. Like we all got, we all got something. So this is my something. And I hope that with sharing you, it's been a blessing. All right. It's 21 minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. Love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs> I never ran sitting on man, I still go, go, go. 